Hey, what's going on guys, it's Mike. There's a little known feature with the Xbox One that not a lot of people really talk about or seem to really use that often, but it's mirroring um, information from your cell phone, primarily Android, um, possibly iOS, I'm not 100% sure, but you can send information from your phone, whether it be pictures, videos, music, or YouTube videos, um, onto your Xbox One. So I'll show you the YouTube stuff first. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have the YouTube app downloaded, go ahead and open it up, scroll to settings, and then pair device. So it'll give you a unique code when you go to youtube.com slash pair, you just type in the code or you could take a picture of it. It has a little icon where you can take a picture, but it should open up the YouTube app on your phone. You have to have the YouTube app on your phone though. So once you open the YouTube app on your phone, you're going to hit the square with the little lines in the bottom left. And what that ends up doing is it opens up the device in which one you're going to connect to. It uses um, Chromecast type technology. So you're going to want to then go and select Xbox One, obviously. So when you do that, it should pop up some something saying which device you connect to. And then you'll also actually get a nice little achievement, which I actually didn't know until I did this. It says video teleporter. So that's kind of cool. I didn't really notice that until actually I recorded it. So... You could also, you know, change the audio from your cell phone, but what's cool is that when you open up a video on your phone, you could either play it or you could add it to a queue. So once you play it, it'll open it up automatically on your Xbox One. The only thing is, is that the quality doesn't seem to be really that good, um, which kind of sucks, but you know, that's how it is. You could also control some stuff via your cell phone, you know, fast forward and stuff, but adding to the queue is actually really cool. So you, while this video is on the TV, you can go through and search other videos and then open it up and then just add it to the queue. So that's a really, really cool feature that I tech, I actually use a lot. Also, another way you could pair your device is if you hit the settings button and then go to connected TVs, you can add or edit the TVs that you have on your list. So if you wanna remove one, you can, or if you wanna edit one, you can. So this is how you do it um, the manual way. So next up is actually mirroring stuff from your device to the TV. Um, you're gonna to wanna to download an app called Allcast. There's a free version and a paid version. I just use the free version. There are some limits, but it's kind of gonna be up to you. You might wanna try it first. Allcast, I believe it's only on Android. It might be on iPhone, I'm not 100% sure. So once you open up Allcast, it's gonna give you a few different things. So essentially what it does is it connects to your Xbox One, similar to the way YouTube connected to your app, or, you know, from the app to your Xbox. So once you open it up, you're gonna to wanna to obviously select Xbox, and then you have a few different options here. So you can send images via gallery, so the gallery will be images and videos, audio that you have locally only, um, Google Plus images, and Google Drive or Twitch. The Twitch functionality seems a little funky, but um, I'll just give you a, a quick little showing of what it is when you do a video. So you just open up the video and it kind of takes a little second, it's a little wonky, but eventually it opens up and it essentially shows your video on the TV. It's on, it's ready to go. What's going on? Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. So once the video is over, it'll kick you back to the keep watching page. And essentially what it does is it actually opens up your images and videos in like Xbox video. So if you don't have that downloaded, it might not work, but it'll, it'll want to download it. Here's what it looks like when it is doing the slideshow or when you kind of swipe through your pictures. It's a little wonky, but um, essentially it just shows you on screen exactly which picture you're looking at. You could swipe through them um, manually if you'd like but all the pictures are really high quality and the videos are really high quality too, but it's just the YouTube connections. For some reason, it just, YouTube on the Xbox just doesn't seem to really look that good regardless of whether you're, just, you're sending it from your phone or not. But anyways, guys, I hope this helped. I hope this is a f feature that you use um, because it's definitely one that I think is really neat, especially when you have people over, you want to show a video that's on your phone, you could send it to your TV without getting, you know, any different technology. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching.